Yeah. You know, I was just wondering, this Germany, this is just this random country, and I was wondering, is there one thing that's really like traditional about German? And I was thinking about the one thing that everybody knows is so German, that's Lederhosen and Dirndl. Yay! <laughs> Lederhosen is definitely German, but that's very regional. It's not in whole Germany. Oh. Okay, well, um, then I have another question. What about, you know, like every country has its own flag. What about the German flag? What does it look like? Well, the German flag has the beautiful black, red, and gold. That's, that's a very nice, but I'd really like to know some more facts about Germany. Where, where is it? How big is it? And well, oh. Matthias, so didn't you always wonder if you would calculate how many times would Germany fit into the US? What do you think? Okay, we're going to ask an important person. Ten? Oh, that's way under. It's 27 times. Just imagine. Well, and now think of the population. So you know the US has around 300 million inhabitants and you see how small Germany is compared to the US. So what do you think? Okay, so uh, the US population. Germany Germany is 27 times bigger. That means like smaller. Uh, smaller. I mean, so that means like it should like the population should be about maybe 20 times more just like maybe Germany has some more so it should be about like 10. No, that's totally million. wrong. It's a fourth. It's 80 million inhabitants. Think oh about it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, so this is really impressive. Now we, we learned a lot about Germany, but what we're actually here for is something that connects Germany, something traditional, something that is like, that brings the spirit of Germany over it. What can that be? Well, so. Germany together is soccer and especially during the world championship soccer is something that really connects Germany and it's a social thing so 